How's it going everyone? My name is The Starks and welcome to a brand new The Last of Us Part 2 video. Today I've got a pretty, pretty controversial um, and, and almost like debateful uh, topic and and that is not the coronavirus but uh, some news, some, some information and some developments that have come out of Naughty Dog Studio. Um, and this is following actually several years of of information I mean this is just build up upon build up of information uh, and and so I wanted to address it in today's video because I feel like uh, the community in particular the last was community um, uh, are, are, are kind of conflicted uh, I noticed like there's a, a slight divide of people who who are, who are kind of siding with the whole system and then pe uh, and then people like myself who are against it and that is of course the idea of crunch crunch time um, and and the whole crunch system that Naughty Dog is known for having. So first and uh, first of all, uh, to define crunch, crunch basically is a word used in the industry to to uh, to which which essentially encapsulates um, uh, hours of of uh, employees dedicating more hours towards getting certain things done, like levels, animations, uh, lighting, perhaps everything from. Uh, audio and, and uh, as well as maybe even reshoots or cinematics and, and everything like that. So it's it basically a system put in place that pretty much every company has this. I know, um, uh, you know, in, in terms of where I work, even, I mean, we have certain things like that. And there's like this expectation that you need to stay and that you need to work uh, and get the job done, essentially. Now, I just want to address it because I feel like people are, are kind of are, are kind of misleading and kind of uh, uh, and there's like this lack of understanding regarding crunch times and why it's very harmful. So, um, I'm on my computer here. I didn't really come prepared, except I do want to read some things. So first, firstly, um, Jason Schreier, who works for Kotaku, uh, made an article. Now he's also made a book called Blood, Sweat, and Pixels regarding, uh, well, I mean, just the effort and the dedication as well as the process of making video games. He talked about Uncharted 4, I'm pretty sure. I think he touched base on The Last of Us. And then he talked about several other games, but I haven't read the book in its entirety. However, he did make an article uh, regarding Naughty Dog's crunch time. I wanted and kind of and and today I just want to address it. Now I have a tweet here, uh, so I basically quoted his his tweet, his initial tweet from yesterday, March twelfth. So today is the thirteenth. Um, and essentially, I just want to address it. So um, I'm going to say all, all of the information on the tweet here. So basically, it says that on The Last of Us Part 2, you feel obligated to be there later because everyone else is there later, said one formal uh, former developer. Uh, if an animation needed to be put in and you weren't there to help the animator, you're now blocking the animator and you may give and you may get some grief. Uh, it may not be uh, spoken. It may just be a look. Man, you totally screwed me uh, last night for not being here at 11 p.m. Worst of all of Naughty Dog's uh, devs were uh, the times with a high-level decision might lead to their work being scrapped without them even uh, knowing it. An artist might be working on a building uh, in The Last of Us Part II's post-disaster version of America without realizing that their scene was out or overhauled. They might not find out un that until days later or even weeks sometimes, leading to hours and hours of wasted work, a uh, obviously demoralizing feeling com uh, compounded with the other stress stresses of production. Um, so I added, you know, that I was against that. So... At Naughty Dog, there is no production department. Over time, the company has hired a couple of producers to help with scheduling, which I have seen, and other tasks. But the studio's philosophy has long bef been that everyone should act as their own producer. It's an amazing creative environment, said one developer on The Last of Us Part Two. but you can't go home. So I added that this corporate mentality in video games is what makes video game launch a video game launch, but also temporarily hinders the overall psychological, physical, and emotional well-being of their developers. Um, I also added, and this is from the actual article that Jason wrote, but it says that, and I'll have obviously screenshots up here for you guys to read. But one of the studio's unwritten maxims uh, uh, is that if you don't hear anything, you're doing well. It's been a little bit about the blind leading the blind as we go in circles and find our own way, said one developer in The Last of Us Part 2. So as you can see, these are just highlights from the article that I took to summarize my, my overall opinion, and that is, one, the video game industry needs unions, and two, 
Naughty Dog has a system in place. Their culture has shifted ever since they started to work on Uncharted 4. Maybe even The Last of Us, because I, I, I do remember reading a bits a part of the article that Jason wrote. Uh, maybe even a little bit of The Last of Us. Um, that, that The culture has, has since shifted. I mean, each video game goes to this crunch time, but I think as of late, Naughty Dog has, has kind of bundled down on this extreme shift from being, you know, more of a passive crunch to a very extreme aggressive crunch. And I'm against it. I don't care what anybody has to say regarding hard work and dedication or motivation or whatever have you. That does not have, that has nothing to do with working 12 hours. You can work 12 hours and you can be doing the shittiest job in the world. So there's no correlation to working more, which equals better success. That's not true at all. There's been many people in the world who work a lot, but aren't successful, right? So you need to play smart and play hard. And, and I feel like Naughty Dog... Um, for years now, since 2014, since I started to realize Naughty Dog was doing this back in 2014, I realized that there was some very bad fundamental issues with the company. The article suggests that over 14 people, employees, have since, within the past five years, quit or have been fired due to all the extreme situations at Naughty Dog. I'm talking Amy Hennig, who is the creative director at Naughty who was the creative director on, uh, at Naughty Dog. As well as Bruce Straley, who worked on The Last of Us, the first one. Um, as well as Uncharted 4. I'm pretty sure he worked on Uncharted 4 as well. And after that, he said his, his ultimate reason was, I just felt burnt out. And, and, and that's not okay. I mean, obviously, once you dedicate your, your time and effort into something you're bound to feel tired and stuff but for him to just just uh, uh, just ultimately leave like that i think at first it was a hiatus and then he was like you know what i've got to go um so i have another tweet here from a person named uh jonathan cooper now he worked at naughty dog for the last five years from my understanding i think he left back in 2019 um or 2020 early 2020 or late 2019 from my understanding and he was an animator and he has i mean he has a bunch of tweets here obviously uh, describing his uh, his uh, his experience working at Naughty Dog, and so I'm going to address it here. As of now, all of, all of the replies are interesting because some people are against what he says, some people are are for what he says. People are making fun of him because he's now working for EA, a, res a, a company who has been put on blast for not apparently uh, supporting their employees as best as possible and calling him basically calling him a hypocrite, which one is in incredibly enormously disrespectful. Um, I, I, I don't understand the community's lack of appreciation and respect for developers. I think uh, this really shows the true colors of a lot of uh, individuals. And I'm not talking about people who are who disagree with what I'm saying. I'm talking about people who are aggressively attacking Jonathan Cooper, who has uh, who has been on record now on Twitter ex uh, describing his experience working at Naughty Dog. So I'm just going to read a little bit of it. But March 12th, uh, yesterday, from the time of this recording, he says, When I left Naughty Dog last year, they threatened to... Okay, so it was 2019. But they threatened to withhold my final paycheck until I signed additional paperwork stating I wouldn't share their production practices. They finally relented when I assured uh, assured them that uh, that was not... Uh, that was likely illegal. So first off, I'm going to read the rest, but I just wanted to comment on that. First of all, to hold someone's paycheck... So that they to sign paperwork so he doesn't talk about their production practices suggests that Naughty Dog has production practices that are not healthy for their employees. On to the next tweet. The truth is, and I have uh, and uh, is I have no awful crunch tale. The story animators, as we were known, were. Uh, averaging 46 hours a week when I left, and I personally never went over 55. The story team is super organized, and we uh, reacted to uh, whatever was thrown at us. That's not to say others weren't suffering. For the demo shown last September, the gameplay animators crunched more than I've ever seen and required weeks of recovery afterwards. One good friend of mine was hospitalized at the time due to overwork. He still had over half a year to go. There have been others since. Um, you know, I, I had to take a pause there because I, 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 I you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, having a an employee who was uh, hospitalized over overworking is 
extremely sad uh and i you know i don't know anybody else who who could possibly say that's not sad that's their job that's what you sign up for no that's what police officers sign up for that's not what game developers sign up for we have to show respect and appreciation for game developers not disrespect them denounce them discredit their value and everything in between those lines so on to the next tweet the reason i left naughty dog um or the reason i left is because i only want to work with the best uh, there is no longer Naughty Dog. Their reputation for crunch within LA is so bad, it was near impossible to hire seasoned con uh, contract game animators to close out the project. As sure as such, part of me, we loaded up on a f on uh, up on film animators, and this is true. This is true, actually. Uh, um, uh, Sean S. Gage is actually he's a part of the film industry and which I didn't know prior to his employment in Naughty Dog He was in the film industry and I'm pretty sure he's still closely working in the film industry But also with video games because animation goes both ways. You know, I mean uh, they, they work in collaboration with game developers as well as um, uh, uh, and In the movie industry and so this might be a, a hint to Sean S. Gage who I don't know if you're not if you're aware but has since left Naughty Dog, he's working for the, he's the creative director, I'm pretty sure, or lead writer for the Avengers game, which I'm super excited for. Um, so this just, just goes to show you how there's this work, there's this work uh, culture, this um, obsession in perfection. And a lot of the tweets that I've seen out there is that crunch equals good games, which is the opposite of an ideal opinion that th that's that's that is totally wrong we can't assume that crunch makes a good game i mean look at days gone right days gone was a i i had a lot of fun playing days gone but it had some core issues such as bugs some glitches story story beats weren't hitting uh, and, and other things like that as well as uh bioshock's um uh uh, uh, uh mass effect andronima that was uh, by many a very horrible game so we can't assume that crunch is what equals good games and a lot of people are saying well this is what these game developers sign up for they're working for naughty dog they should shut up work the 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 50 hours uh, pardon me uh, uh they should shut up they should work the 13 hours a day and just appreciate their job because they're working for the best right that is not a mentality i respect nor appreciate because I, I mean, anyone who's saying that is, to be honest with you, it, it, they're not thinking straight uh, because it, that's just extreme. Uh, we're not talking about police officers here. We're not talking about politicians. We're talking about game developers who sit in offices and make video games. Okay, we need to be respectful and appreciate their work, but also realize and recognize that there are some core and fundamental issues within Naughty Dog. It's a systematic um, cycle of crunch oppression and slave labor that these developers are going through. And I'm not suggesting that Naughty Dog is a bad company. Okay, Naughty Dog is my favorite company in the world. There was a moment in my life for the last five years where I said, Naughty Dog is the company I want to work for. That dream has since changed, not because of all of this controversy, but because I realized that my potential in the video game industry and in respects to creating video games were not sufficient enough for me to actually uh, pursue that career. And I, and I seeked other interests. Um, with that said, though, I can still appreciate the games. I'm a gamer. I love Naughty Dog games uh, a little too much, to be honest with you. But we have to keep it objective. Our biases and subjectivity shouldn't be coming in the way of what's happening. And I'm not saying that people are, 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 are being told that they can't leave. There's this expectation. There's this pressured expectation that you must stay. Otherwise, you're going to get viewed or judged wrongly. You're going to be like, yo, why don't you stay with me? You know, and there was many examples that I that I mentioned uh, earlier in the in the quote that I did, where I summarized some of the highlights from the particular article. Now, Jonathan Cooper goes on for several other tweets explaining why his experience at Naughty Dog hasn't been the strongest and why he inevitably uh, uh, left Naughty Dog. So he said, ultimately, ultimately, Naughty Dog's, and this is his last tweet, by the way, ultimately, Naughty Dog's linear games have a formula and they, um, and they focus test uh, the shit out of them. While talented, their success is due in large part to Sony's deep pockets, funding delays, uh, rather than skill alone, a more senior team would have shipped uh, The Last of Us Part Two a year ago. Now, this goes to show you that there are some fundamental and possibly even organizational um, uh, uh, issues within Naughty Dog. I mean, there is, there, not possibly, there is organizational issues because he's implying that, listen, if they had a, a senior team to work on the game rather than possibly having all these seasonal workers who aren't 
up to par to the quality or perhaps the skill uh, or, or sufficiency that they're able to get all these levels and and the game out that this the last of us part two would have released a year ago so now uh, i'm gonna leave all of this in the description below for you to read uh, on your own including the article as well as uh, jonathan's uh thread and i and i honestly i want to have a peaceful discussion here um i don't know if i sounded negative or, or like i was yelling i'm just trying to keep on top of the, the noise in my house but um I, I, I have the most utmost deepest respect for Jonathan Cooper um, as, as well as all of the other uh, video game uh, individuals, Naughty Dog individuals who who have since came out and kind of uh, explained their experiences working at Naughty Dog to be one while appreciated and loved has some some core fundamental uh, hardships and issues with it and I think uh, you know me as a content creator me as a lover of Naughty Dog games me as a gamer myself I have to keep objective while appreciation appreciating Naughty Dog's uh, video games and their process I have to also recognize that it's a process that that hurts people and we can't we can't use our biases and subjectivity to say, hey, well, Naughty Dog makes great games, so I don't care. No, we need to keep objective and appreciate and respect these developers um, rather than attacking them, denouncing them, disrespecting and devaluing their efforts um, in the industry. I, I, I'm, I'm blown away by some of the tweets that I've seen. Um, I, I truly don't understand, nor can I comprehend some of the, the responses. I mean, to people who just think, Oh, it's a job. You know, crunch time happens all the time. I work six days a week, so who cares? I, I, I don't, I don't get the mentality. I, I work. You know, I have, I have relatives in my life who work seven days a week, and I've never heard them complain. And when, and the moment they do complain, I say, you know what? Take the day off, right? Like I'm not gonna be like, why are you complaining? You, you gotta work. <laughs> you got no, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, so we have to keep objective here. Like, I, I, I personally don't understand. Um, and you know, I'm again, I'm not upset or mad. I'm just really disappointed at the community for for attacking Jonathan as well as other developers who have since uh, spoke about the project, about the Last of Us Part Two, and and there has been some comments made about people who say that they want the project to fail, and that doesn't mean they actually want the project to fail. It goes there's a there's a deeper meaning to that, which I'll, I'll I, I I can't really address right now, but because uh, because I mean the video is going going a little too far, but or too long, but overall I'm. I, I, I needed to address this because it really it it, it really ups, it didn't upset me it disappointed me to see the community react in such a way and and some people not recon uh, some people being uh, you know unable to fully recognize that this is a huge issue at Naughty Dog and has been for a while now but not only Naughty Dog Rockstar Games we're talking about Ubisoft games uh you know all of the video games that we play go through some form of crunch time but some more than others pixel opus who made concrete genie probably had a crunch, a crunch time situation where everyone was kind of not rushing but trying to get everything polished within within the release date and the thing is i can easily tell you that 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 specific company pixel opus uh they went through that crunch time but they did not their 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 crunch time is not as extreme as naughty dog because naughty dog is a bigger uh, more popular and more successful company so the expectation is the crunch time is to be a lot more extreme which is the issue that naughty dog employees are are currently facing um and so yeah i i just essentially wanted to address that because it needed to be said i hope if you're still watching uh that you like my video and you subscribed if you uh, uh you know enjoy the content that i have up on my channel of course um i i let's try to keep it as civil as possible um again I, I was trying to keep up with the noise in my house which is why it sounded like i was upset or yelling i wasn't upset i'm just disappointed um but overall thank you everyone for watching thank you for the recent support on my youtube videos i, I truly appreciate it beyond words and with that being said of course i've been the starks please subscribe um and like the video if you enjoyed it and remember to read the article which again will be in the description below for you to read as well as the post that uh, jonathan made uh just a day ago now so yeah once again, thank you for watching. I've been the Starks. Peace.